Gertrude Shinja Diabene. I'm an advocate, uh, but in other parts of the world, we are just lawyers. I'm proudly a feminist because I believe in the rights of equal rights of both women and men. I was raised in a community where the status of women and girls were actually not recognized. We are just these invisible beings in our community. Our voices were silenced. I was raised, or oh, I can say I'm still raised, being raised by a woman who is strong. Her dreams were shattered when she was married just at the age of 13. She actually wanted to be a doctor, but she had to get married. This woman raised me, she's actually my mother. Through her experience in life, she believed in women. She believed in us, me and my young sister, on the two of us. And she managed to invest in us because she believed that we could actually fulfill her dreams. But how many women got the chance like I got? How many women were raised by a woman as strong as my mother to believe in women, to believe in investing our education, which actually made us to where we are today? I walk around so many things on, in terms of women's rights and gender equality. I work on access to justice, women political participation and decision making. I work on issues of gender-based violence. I can say economic justice, gender equality, which in Swahili we say usawa kijinsia. We want women to enjoy their rights just as our men are enjoying them. We want women to be free from their workplace where they are working, to be free from gender violence or any forms of violence. We want women to be free in their family when they are married, to have equal rights as their husbands, to have equal rights as their equal counterparts. That's what we are looking for. We want women to be elected into offices, just as how the community feels comfortable to elect men in the offices. We want people to believe in women just as much they believe in men to be leaders. That's what we are looking for. Tanzania has signed so many conventions on women's rights. We have the Maputo Protocol, we have the CEDAW. We want women in Tanzania to enjoy those rights as it has been illustrated in those conventions and the, and the Maputo Protocol. As I said, I've been working on issues of access to justice. Many women rights are violated, but these women don't access justice because they are afraid or rather because they don't know if they should. Most women who access justice after they have faced violence, any form of violence, most domestic violence, they are actually not allowed to go to the courts to demand their rights because women cannot do that. You cannot go and say, my husband did this. That's not how a woman should act. Women in Tanzania have been live, living in a coded principles that this is how we should live and this is how we should not. So it's time for women to do what's right for them. It's time for women to enjoy their rights. Uh, when you speak about economic justice, women have been doing so much in developing their families Women have been doing so much in developing their communities, but they are never recognized. That's not what we want. We want women to have equal rights in ownership. We want women to have equal rights in the contribution that they put in their families and their communities. That's what we want. We want women to have equal rights as equal as men. We don't want men to feel like they are, they are rightful owners of women's bodies. It's not a man's role to tell a woman that you should have kids, you should have sex. A woman can decide, that's what we want. We want to have a generation where men believe that we are two people who are equal. We want men to respect women's rights. We want Tanzania to have an environment that actually protects and promotes women's rights. I've been doing a lot of mentorship programs to girls, to young women. I believe there is a gap here in between. So these women, these girls that are growing need a voice to tell them that it's possible, to tell them that it can be done. For me, I never got that chance. I don't even remember when a person came to my school or my college to tell me that, Gertrude, you can be whoever you want. We need to tell these girls, we need to tell the young women that it is possible, that you are capable, and that you can be whoever you want to be, just the way you are. 
We need to tell these women to be able to live in this generation that we are living right now, a digital generation. A generation that proof is given in a different way. We need to tell these women that we are different, but we are all capable. So through the mentorship programs, we have been empowering many girls, many young women, to take on leadership roles. We believe when we have as many women leaders, we are going to make it because we are going to have women who actually believe on the importance of having women's rights realized. With this, I believe that by making young girls, by making young women understand their role, their importance, and their visibility and their relevance in their communities, they are going to go further, they are going to try, and through trying they are going to make it. We want to have women who speak out confidently, and when their voice will be heard, changes will come. This is the time of the young women, is the time for the young generation to accelerate the gender equality wheel. On the issue of economic justice, I would want my country, Tanzania, to ensure conducive environment for women in the workplace, for women entrepreneurs, so that these women can have the chance to develop themselves economically. But to ensure protection of women, property ownership, especially those in marital relationships, by enacting and putting in place laws and policies that protect their personal gain when they are in marital relationships. If we want women to access economic justice, we should ensure that we create a conducive environment for them to develop economically, but also enjoy their property ownership. We are generation equality. The work to achieve a more gender equal world depends on our leadership, commitment, and action for us to achieve a gender equal future.